brush with uh, the, the concealer I'm going into apparently paint pot um, I'm gonna do an eye primer first I'm gonna do NARS eye primer I'm gonna do that first I like this, but I like a little bit more heat. Chili powder, spicy peanuts, we've toasted some rice puffs. It's visually just beautiful. Simple, lots of flavors, and really healthy. This is my hand, and just blow it out. Mm. Here we go. Okay, now we're going into panely. Um, I went with panely because I wanted to do more of a brighter eye, and I but I didn't want to use white. I'm gonna take this underneath the picture. I'm taking underneath it. I need that oil. The SFT Bistro truck brings a higher class of sandwich to the streets of Miami. Okay, since it's in front of me, I'm going to go in with my translucent powder. Um, this is the Too Faced um, Perfect Peach Powder. I'm going to use a Mac stippling brush. This is a. Ugh, I don't know what number this is. This is the number rubbed off. And I'm just going to... Okay, I just wanted to get to where I wanted to get to with this look. I want it to be a sandwich eye. So, we're going to start with yellow. A Cazetti color. I gotta pull this up. Sun's up. I'm gonna start with that, and I'm going to put that all in my upper crease. Um, this is my crease I'm going upward. I tend to take my colors all the way out here because I will be using a um wipe to get that off but i just like the shape of where i'm going when i go all the way out trust me guys this is where you're gonna get your cuban fix right now we're in soho what makes cuban food okay now i'm going in with rumor this is orange color Um, this is a uh, Cazetti D220 brush. I'm going to use Cherry Cola by Makeup Geek. I have not been playing with my Makeup Geek eyeshadows in a while, and it's so weird. Um, I'm going to use a brush, Cazetti S185. Oh, like, somebody else said that, like, like everybody in their mama was like into um makeup geek eyeshadows and nothing like morphe like took off and like everybody forgot about makeup geek like, what happened okay now i'm going into porcelain by um, la colors on a brush this is a morphe m421 and I'm just going to make a straight line and I'm going to go upward new bird's eye veggie man so veggie good for adults with advanced non-small cell lung cancer previously treated with platinum based chemotherapy including those with an abnormal ALK or EGFR gene who've tried an FDA approved targeted therapy here's a question who wouldn't want a chance for another like that Okay, now I'm going into um, Makeup Geek 
uh, magic act and I'm going to get this color you know it's been known to crease on me I ain't gonna lie I think these are the the foil eyeshadows and what really works with these foiled eyeshadows is um, Max eye primer hallucinations muscular joint pain flushing fever or weakness as this may keep these problems from becoming more serious these are not all the possible side effects of updevo tell your doctor about all your medical conditions including immune system problems hopefully we can make this work right now i'm going to spray my brush coldly spray a key i'm going into makeup geeks coca cola or cola cherry cola I'll get this right and I'm going to just add that on the outer part of, outer part of my eye and just dip it slowly I'm also getting on the edge of that eyeshadow I'm gonna flick out like that I'm making I know this look a mess but I'm going to clean that up in a mini Mm. And then I'm just going to do the other side. And I'm going to bring that up. Pencil brush. This is a um, sin, Sinoya. I forget the, how to say this woman's name. She is in Target. This is a special edition purple brush that she came out with a while ago. So now I'm going back into rumor. This is not gonna humor root. You grade it like you'd be grading something really fine. We choose to use it because it does actually give the actual texture. This is the stop. You can that edge. It's starting to affect the texture. So I cracked it on the counter. It's a lot less messy and there's a lot less chance of getting shells. This is where we start making a vegetable. Green onions and ginger. Some people I know it's looking smaller as I go, but I am gonna go back into that other color um to uh, to brighten it up again so now i'm going into this red color is called crimson they are so thin that the heat makes them dance. Did you say that they dance on top of the pizza? Like this? <laughs> I give you the Gojira. The bacon adds saltiness. It's a little creaminess going on. Like a delicate creamy oh God, flavor. Pop that crimson. You can taste like the bits and pieces of like a cabbage and the shrimp. I like a sakasol. That eye. Okay. So I'm going to go in my Violet Voss. Um, glitter adhesive. And then they add the jungle creamies. Then comes the baby corn. Slices of the braised beef, and then water is added to create a little. Yeah, that's it for a hot second. And uh, find a synthetic brush. Yeah, I'm going with the concealer brush from uh, Sigma F70, and I'm going into Fenty Beauty's eyeshadow right here. smell the chilies, but then you're biting into sort of these really tender slices of juicy braised beef and they're just perfectly coated in this spicy curry. And it's hidden all those hot, sour, salty, sweet moments. They're really awesome. Okay, I'm going to go with this purple um, eyeliner. This is um, Prom Queen from Tarte. And I also put um, some Duraline drops in this because it's a little, you know, um, dry. And I'm using um, my Zoeva 315 Fine Liner Brush. One of the best bowls of ramen in America is being served at Ramen Tatsuya. Ramen Tatsuya is in a shopping mall, but it's the pinnacle of authentic ramen. I've eaten ramen all over Japan, and I gotta tell you, this bowl of ramen at Ramen Tatsuya was exceptional. You see a lot of locals lining up at Ramen Tatsuya, and you also see a lot yeah, of buddy. chefs. I really like this liner. I haven't mean, used this in a minute. It's about the coolest thing to hit Austin in maybe since Tex Mex. So, one of the owners and the chef, Chef Tatsu, he really missed home. 
He came from Tokyo 20 years ago and just couldn't find good ramen. Ultimately, I wanted to eat ramen to really feed my addiction. Great bowl of ramen. Okay, I'm gonna get my wipes. And because I feel like this my this one on the side is so off. But I'm going to wipe. Damp paper towel and bake it for five, ten minutes, maybe. Uh, Someone scorched their soup, Laurie. Submerge the entire pot of soup in cold water. Do not stir it. Ladle the rest out, and you should be good to go. You rock this. Get in the know with Good to Know at cookingchannelTV.com slash good to know. Did you know American homeowners are 62 and above? Hold over six okay. I already primed my face. I used my Smashbook primer um, oil, my hangover oil, um, primer this is from Too Faced and I also put a little bit of uh, what is it called Touch of Soul um, um, pore primer smoothing and pore covering primer right here right here right here and on my forehead I'm going in with um, Huda Beauty's Cocoa Bean <clears throat> three pumps um, Caudalie spray, face spray, super damp. I'm gonna tap it on my bra um, my towel right here. Then I'm gonna go in this foundation. Um, offer it when I first got this. I noticed that. It has a um, smell to it. I don't appreciate the smell. I'm going to do half of my fish. Essentially fresh made mayonnaise with extra garlic, spices, and a little bit of heat. Oh wow. That covered that little oh high pigmentation right there real good. It just sort of rubs and melts and, and gets absorbed up into the bread. One of the most popular sandwiches is the melanesa, which is this thin piece of bread and beef. Even more of that crow sauce. What makes the Milanese unique and comes towards this little marinade? Oh, right there. Eggs and garlic. The tomatoes and garlic will flavor the meat, but the high amount of acidity will also help it taste very quickly. Step aside. Without the hyperpigmentation. Uh, and uh, right there. Cumin, basil, red pepper flakes. Okay, let's do the other side. Okay, I'm going to use my ColourPop concealer. This is in Deep Seventy. If you're in Los Angeles, and get to cook. I mean, this place is packed morning, noon, and night, and the food is just plain old delicious. They just take it to the next level in terms of the quality of the bread and the ingredients as well, and the imagination that's brought to bear on constructing all these different combinations of awesome Latin ingredients. What makes packing orders? I like so this um concealer really applicator. Crisp, shattery crust. Which I love. Malabusta in New York. It's sweet, it's chewy, it's earthy. How could you not want to eat your vegetables if they taste that good? Really precisely lay my um, concealer down. Candy hearts again as medicine. There's no truth. We won't find his corned beef on St. Patty's Day, really Irish. There's no topic to it. Did molasses almost destroy Boston? Mm. Food, Fat Perfection is committed to giving you something to talk about. All right, I'm willing to give it a try. Oh, Going to use this um real, real technique. Yeah. Real techniques. This is the setting brush. One of you is Canada's next master chef. Are you ready? Oh, 
Master Chef Canada, Tuesday at 9. Spicy, smoky, yes. KFC's Nashville Hot is the best. No. Honey mustard, Georgia Gold is the best. Nashville Hot. Oh, no, no. Nashville oh, which one hot. is it? Don't ask me, I just the fancy. Try both delicious flavors at KFC. Tonight we shake hands with pots and pans. Going into my holy grail. Um, this is the Laura Mercier setting powder in medium deep. Alive gives you more vitamins and minerals than leading brands. Because when you start with more, you own the morning. Alive. Together, we block Friday in a big way. We get the brands we know best with the features that work the smartest so we can make our holidays. Oh, this is the same brush. Get the lowest prices of the year. Okay, I'm going to use Fenty Beauty's um, stick, um, stick concealer, contour, stick contour. This is an espresso. If you watch this show for more than a minute, you've seen fried chicken. We love fried chicken on this show. <laughs> Filipino fried chicken is unique. 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 In a mixing bowl, she combines garlic, bay leaves, and peppercorns. Then she adds tamari, which is a thicker, darker, and richer soy sauce, cane vinegar, and lemon juice. This liquid is then added to the chicken. And here's the surprise. It's more than a marinade. It's a poaching liquid. I'm going to take this brush. I'm going to spray it with the cotillé. Cotillé. Spray. It gives it that Filipino touch and flavor. And I'm just going to... I'm gonna blend that the heck out. The Filipino style is to do it very thin, crisp crust. Mm -hmm. What's awesome is that you know the chicken has already been cooked off in all these aromatics, so it has all that beautiful flavor already cooked into the chicken. The skin is really thin. It's crisp, shattery. Okay. I'm going into the KKW contour um, powder. I'm gonna use this right here. I'm gonna use a Wayne Gosh brush. This is an, uh, I think it's the first set that he came out with. Some house-made thinly shaved pickles go on top of that, and then fresh cilantro. I just left all the textures and all the taste. Okay. Oh, I got the wrong thing. Yeah, I'm gonna go with it. I'm gonna go with um, the Sephora setting powder. This is in 68 Mocha. This is it. Did I forget to turn you into the gas station? Again, another Wayne Gosh brush. Dude, this is from their holiday it's absolutely astonishing. set. I'm going to use this right here. This is um, the MAC. Um, Pro Concealer and Corrector. I'm going to use this and this right there and possibly a little bit of this up top. Philadelphia cream cheese. Made with fresh milk and real cream. Makes your recipes their holiday favorites. The holidays are made with Philly. Did you know American homeowners age 60 to and above hold over $6 trillion in home equity? Yet, not enough seniors are taking advantage of this fully insured product to tap into their wealth. It's called a reverse mortgage. If you have at least 50% home equity and you're 62 or older, you should be on the phone by the end of this commercial to find out how much you can get for your home. A government-insured reverse mortgage swaps your mortgage payments for a steady, tax-free source of funds you can use for whatever you want. It's a smart way to eliminate mandatory Take this brush right home, here. Make a large purchase. Or just spoil your grandkids. The 2012 FHA Stabilization Act completely reinvented reverse mortgages. Turning um, into smart and safe retirement solutions. They're fully ah, insured okay, by the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development. In fact, before you can obtain one, you'll get to meet with an unbiased HUD counselor to make sure it's right for you. And that's why financial advisors love this product. Payment terms for reverse mortgages are extremely flexible. You can pay as much or as little of the reverse mortgage as you want each month. You can even pay nothing and still remain in the Okay, now I'm going into my powder, which is Ivy Brown Camel. 
Use my Smith Cosmetics brush. This is a 220. Millions of Americans have trusted Lending Tree to help them find the best deal on their mortgage. Now, let us help match you to fully FHA regulated lenders for your reverse mortgage. Just go to LendingTree.com or call now to find out how much you can receive for retirement. Lending Tree, when banks compete, you win. Have you been told you can't get high speed internet where you live? Well, you can with HughesNet Gen 5. Experience the power of next generation satellite internet wherever you live. HughesNet Gen 5 is fast. You'll get 25 megabits per second plus built in Wi Fi, and there's no hard data limits. So, wherever you live, now you can do more of everything you love online. Connect on social media, stay informed, watch the latest videos, and help your kids get ahead. No wonder HughesNet is America's number one choice for satellite internet. Act now to save big and get a two-year price lock guarantee, plus free standard installation. So what are you waiting for? Get HughesNet Gen 5. To order, call 1-800-743-5304. Be sure to ask about our home phone service, too. Call 1-800-743-5304. contour and my nose. And, okay, okay, now I'm going into some bronzer. This is um, Natasha Denona. This is the All Over Body Face, All Over Glow Face Body Shimmer and Powder in 03 Dark. Okay, I'm going with and the Estee Lauder's uh, Pure Color Envy Sculpting Blush. This is in 33 Wild Sunset. Using another um, Wayne Gosh brush. Okay, and I'm going into highlighter. This is Estee Lauder's Bronze Goddess. Is that she's surprising you? I love the flavors that she's bringing. Flavors that I'm not going to experience anywhere else in New York City. You're seeing what happens when an Israeli woman living in New York is exposed to food from all over the world, and what her noggin comes up with. And that's cool. Chris Fine Street Food is killing it. You have this food truck that's serving a blend of Asian and Caribbean street food. If you want to know where to find all of these delicious dishes, go to cookingchannelTV.com slash unique eats. Bite into a new season of Carnival Eats. Hello, sugar. We're making Carnival history. Okay, now I'm going to use my Cover FX setting spray. Oh, it smells nice. Okay, guys, I'm back, and this is the look. Got my wig on. I ended up doing um, a review of this hair instead of talking about this makeup look because I was really, really digging myself. Um, my lipstick I have on Current Lip Liner by MAC and I have on um, Mariah Carey's lipstick and it's a cream sheen, it's in McIzzle. Y'all, let's get into it. Look, bronze. Like, oh, oh, do a fake little look. Okay. Oh, feeling my model self. I hear this wig on with got to be glue, and I'm really digging. You know the finish look of it all. I just do some curls in with my GHD flat iron. My cousin had my flat iron for a minute. Love you cuz for bringing it back. But uh, yeah, I need to put a column in the back of this so I can put it in the ponytail. Anywho, 
um this is my look i feel like i did this before half the time like the, the latest couple of weeks when i do my makeup i feel like i did this look before i used um prom queen eyeliner from tarte um because it's it's not over the top but you can still see the eye but the liner is there yeah um I am still digging my eyebrows today but using a pencil um this foundation I feel like it's too dark um I feel like if I go a shade darker than this I will be completely too damn light so um i think it works but i still think it's a tad too red um you see the redness in it of course um it's just i'm not real i'm just not a bigger fan of how red it is um i am really loving cleaning off my little palette i am really loving my fenty beauty even though i went with 440 440 was a little warmer and but it still looks so pretty on my skin and then 430 was perfect maybe because we're getting into um the fall and I'm not out in the sun like that but I, I felt like 430 was really good too but this was just it, it feels it feels like I'm like I'm in the like I'm in the middle of like summer or something like I brought my skin back to summer you know and it's like like I feel like it could be like one more shade down from this and I know it isn't you know I know it, just, it looks too light the, the next shade down and but it, it's still it's still good sort of match see it's still mm, there's it's a little too red for me um but I still like the finish. The finish is really pretty. Um, I'm getting cracking right up in here. Um, not in my, like right there, not there, but just right up in my smile lines. I normally get that there, but not as bad as YSL. Ooh, baby. Burr, burr. That, I have to pull this out because it's standing, it's standing this right by here. The All Hours um, Foundation. Hell to the no. I had whips, like marks, like streaks coming all around my mouth and also up in here. The finish of this is beautiful. I hate to talk about this while I'm talking about something else. But that soccer, horrible. Now, I do want to use it with um, more moisturizing. Because I, I swear I thought I moisturized with that. But I need to more drench to my face because it was like slime line 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 it was like all around my mouth it was like like a starburst like whew, like then and whew, look, it, was, it was a mess this is a lot better than that a lot better um even though the shade is a tad you know but um i still still like it i could still make it work of course if i you know i went in with more um brightening um concealer like the kkw um concealer stick i could brighten it up a little bit more um i am digging the ColourPop concealer you know <laughs> this is really nice um it's not too light i can still go a shade down with this um but i won't because i have too, I have too many i have too many concealers as it is so um yeah but again i can also use that kkw um concealer and add a more brightening effect to my um face so this is it I am so in love with this. I wanted to use red and yellow, and I wanted to use that Fenty Beauty um, eyeshadow palette. 
um because i haven't used it yet and but i plan on doing i use this color right over here in the center just to add a little bit more glitter little more glitter to the look um but i do plan on using this palette with the anastasia palette um next week i think probably next week um I just want to play around more with my Kazetti eyeshadows, um, which I am in love. Those eyeshadows are amazing. It's a lot. Of, I'm getting a lot of kick up from you know the um, the, the eyeshadows, the, especially the matte eyeshadows. But the the pigmentation of these are amazing, like amazing. And I'm really in love. I'm really in love with these very pretty um but i need to move on i just want to get i want to get into that other that other um eyeshadow palette and i also want to get into the Too Faced um perfect peach foundation and i still haven't did my cover girl um, foundation the healthy elixir I am excited about that I want to see how, what, what comes from that and um, yeah I'm not buying any more foundation yeah I am honestly I'm not even gonna say a no buy but I am going after the Sephora VIB um, sale um, I'm going to take a break from um, makeup. I'm still going to do makeup looks, but I'm going to use what I have. I'm going to use all the products and all the stuff that I have purchased, and I'm going to use them. I'm going to put dents in them. I'm going to make them. I'm going to work them till they empty, and I'm going to do more empty videos. I'm more proud of that. More empty videos, because I really want to put a dent into everything that I'm buying and stop overly purchasing makeup and not really using the things that I have. Stop getting starstruck by colors and glitter. So after my VIB sale, we're gonna breathe. Cause at this point, I'm really obsessed with um, shoes again. I'm obsessed with shoes again. Yes, I'm obsessed with shoes again and boots. And um, um, also, still, I'm trying to save for a trip that I'm taking. Um, I, I want to take next year. So um, yeah. Um, other than my birthday in February the 8th, um, that's what I'm going to spend quite a few ducats on and then it's saving for my um, trip. So, if you enjoyed this look, because I do, I'm, I'm so extra right now. I have had a couple days off. I didn't have sleep. I am feeling it. So, um, bye till next time and thank you for watching.